Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, eh? depending on your time zone. Now first of all, before I forget, I want to thank Margaret all the way from US. Thank you so much for uh, supporting our work on this channel. I received your Mpesa. Now, if you go to Nandi County today, in Soi, you will find the residents in arms. They are demonstrating and the protest is all about the dilapidated state of their roads. There is one road they are using to go to the market, to deliver their goods and services to the market. And if you look the state in which that road is, you can't imagine that this is in land count. And they regret their cry is that wakati tulipigia watu kura tulitarajia waondoe matope lakini sasa wameongeza matope that is the situation in land county that means they are disappointed with the leadership that they voted for because in their aim they knew that this is a government that is going to deal with the issue of bad set of the road they will do construction of the road and you know there is none other than William Ruto who promised more roads in every corner of this country where he visited Ruto has even crammed the names of the roads when he come to a village he know all the roads there he can mention them but now there is a cry in Rift Valley this is Rift Valley sequencing Rift Valley done Na hii ndio barabara wanatumia one year when Ruto and Gashagwa are in office. Kenya tuko nayo. Mwenye tulimpea kura tuoni mavuno. Njia inatusumbua. Njia saa hii ni matope tupu. Pesa yote sisi bitu wenye walisema watatufanyia hatujafanywa. Sasa hata gari haipiti. Tunataka tujue nani yenye tulimpea kura wakisema ati atatufanyia mazuri. Atuoni mazuri. Hiyo ni yango tu. Hata kama wewe ni binadamu mjinga kiasi gani na hutaki njia. Wewe si binadamu. Kama wewe ni binadamu kiasi gani na hutaki njia wewe si binadamu. Kitu ambacho mimi nalia. Hii njia inapeleka mtu wa pikipiki. Inabeba masikini inabeba tajiri anyonge tuko ground na hatuwezi tukafikia pale kiatu nilinunua jana ya 120 ili at least nisukume na kiatu yangu ya shilingi tano imekwama pale kwa matope naelekea wapi na mimi natoka wapi naomba kwa kunyenyekea ya kwamba please consider us kama wenyeji wa soi sina mengi tunaumia sana na hata kuongea naona ingine ni majonsi na tunaona ya kwamba tumesahaulika kama wenyeji wa soi kama wamama wa soi ambayo tunatama tukiweka vitu kwa kichwa tukienda kule sokoni kutafutia watoto wetu riziki tunaumia jua hata pikipiki peke yake hakuna tumekonda kila mwaka ajili ya kutama kwenda hapa na pale hatuna pikipiki yenye napita hata gari ni asante kwa watu wa media kutujali kwa siku ya leo now we are continuing this panel discussion but just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not subscribed please consider subscribing to our returning subscribers much thank you so much and again to all our viewers please give this video a thumbs up thank you so much and back to this discussion now the big problem here is all about over promising to the people this regime over promised and uh, they underrated the good work that Uhuru Kenyatta was doing in this country. People were our promised. So their expectation was very high. It was exceeding expectation that when they come to power, this road will be fixed. So they thought that once Ruto is in power, he will deal with their problem. Operation Ondoa Matope. 
If you look at the set of that road, even there is no maram. No tractor even just on that road to compress the road. It is muddy only. Even motorbike cannot pass on that road. And it's a long distance. Men and women have to walk to go to the market and come back. They overpromised. And now the residents in Nand County are looking for instant coffee solution. <laughs> because not a promise like it will be instant solution to the problem. But what is happening? The worst thing is that when he came to power, taxes were increased. But there is nothing in terms of project delivered through these taxes that he's collecting now one year. Hamna maendeleo lakini ushuru unakusanywa. Watu wanangaika. So imagine in Rift Valley people have to protest to get the attention of government. Na huko kwenye wale watu mnatoka Mount Kenya, Western, Nyanza, Lower Eastern, the Asal areas, Coast region. If Rift Valley have to demonstrate, nyinyi mtafanya nini? But the worst is that they had put their hope in William Ruto, the Kenya Panther government. That's why their cry is on the government. They're saying, we voted for you. Tuliwapigia <laughs> kura. But we are suffering. This one point to the to to to, to the answer that kama unauliza walipigia nani kura ujue walipigia Kenya kwanza So where is the development That's what they are asking for But what they never knew is that Ruto was lying Now these people have been subjected into a political lesson they have, they have to learn the hard way that when you are voting next time, vote with your brain. Before you leave your house, make a well-informed decision. Don't go and vote with emotions. Someone just came and lied to you so many things. And because he has dealt with your emotion, so you get from your house, you go and vote with emotion but not thinking critically before you cast your ballot. It's a lesson to learn. And let this be a political lesson that will make you any other time to think twice before you vote. Not every promise can be delivered. Ruto is a good example. 99% of his promises are hot air. He can't deliver. He can't take responsibility. He can't even own the promises. Now you are here. But again, another thing that is coming out clear, if you listen to these people and their accent, they seem not to be challenging also, some of these people. So the other thing that is emerging is that kuna ubaguzi wa maendeleo in Rift Valley or in Nand County. Kuna ubaguzi. Say that if there is an area where majority are not challenging, then receiving development becomes a problem. Ukiwasikiza vizuri. So that means maybe they have been sidelined because they are non challenges So development should be delivered to the areas concentrated by challenging people, then other people were part of Badai. The worst tribal politics or tribal administration that is ever happening 
in our lifetime. This is too low. It is the worst. It should have never happened. So you can see the kind of leadership we have today. If they are not lying, they are sidelining people in appointment. Now you come to delivery of projects. They are being sidelined. As long as you cannot speak their language. When it comes to delivery of services, you are treated like children of lesser God. As a second thought, deal with the wenyeji, then what wa kukuja, badai. That is also another possibility. And this is one of the worst. Because we are all taxpayers. They tax us equally. So, there should be value for our taxes. And this can be reflected through delivery of development. If we don't see that, then we have no business to give our taxes to, just, to such kind of a regime. 